Hello everybody, um, I'm Lucy Nate Bimo and I'm going to, uh, in this video um, to present you uh, an advanced topic about uh, C++ templates. So, um, uh, there, is, there, is something, uh, there is something for uh, there is some cases when you are um, when you are right when you when you write a lot of code that do the same things and you write duplicate code uh, each time and this is not so very um, very nice for your code and for um, also uh, your um, your program efficiency so I'm going in this uh, in this video to talk about to answer some question what uh, about uh, templates what is a template and how it works and um, uh, how it works and uh, give you an exa examples about about uh, using templates so a template uh, uh, when you use a template the source code contains only function and class is on template a compiled code contains copies of same class and function and then it aims to write a code that can work with different data types and the syntax is so simple you declare the keyword template and type name and you introduce a generic data type this is so interesting because if you don't use templates you are um, you are going to duplicate your code um, each time for a new each time you introduce a new data type to use with your logic your function logic um, uh, this is so interesting uh, because the the computer is um, is 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 much smart to 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 define and to understand your uh, what you want when calling and when you specializing that's what we call when you call in a template class or function that means um, you are specializing this template or this function to uh, a given data types and the uh, compiler is much smarter. Uh, to uh, to to generate a code that can work for the the new data types, and this is so interesting. So if uh, you don't want to duplicate your code, so you can just use templates, and uh, you shouldn't uh, you should make the difference between two uh, two uh, fundamental uh, fundamental principle in C plus plus, and. Uh, 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 like uh, like for example the function overloading and the uh, templates function overloading and uh, templates are both of them uh, polymorphic principle in uh, C++ but there is uh, some difference so how it works uh, template when we compile uh, when when compiler find the template keyword in your code it, it automatically generate an equivalent code that works with the new data types in parameters so this is this is this is not this is the the main interesting point about templates it's uh, it's uh, the mechanism the mechanism that may the that provide that provide and that uh, um, give the, the the compiler the ability and the ability and delegate um, the task to generate a code that can that can work for um, different data types uh, and so uh, for example if you are uh, if you are implementing a function that can work for integers data types you can also um, make this function and this logic of your code to work for doubles and floats and so on so when we should use a template you should use a template when multiple function do ed identical operation and you use an overloading function when multiple function do similar operation this is two things different and uh, uh, both of them are uh, polymorphic um, polymorphic uh, principle about uh, about object oriented language so uh, if you if you are uh, going to write uh, multiple functions that do the same just use templates this is this is the, the 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 main this is how this is why we created templates principle in in the language um, and if you are um, when if you if you want to use uh, multiple uh, function that uh, do the same operation just use function overloading so I'm going to give you some examples so you can understand 
clearly what 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 is a template and when we should uh, when we should use it and how it works and how you can write at your first template in your first code and in your first program so i prepared here um I prepared here a, a, a basic example, to, so a basic example, but it's so interesting about uh, and to understand the, to, uh, it's so interesting and to understand the mechanism. So here I I have a function, I created a function that that calculate the maximum of two integers and it returns an integers as a data type. So I give. Um, I give uh, two data types as parameters and it gives me an integers as output and it calculate and, and uh, it calculate the maximum um, uh, here is uh, the basic code that you can write so and it's so easy to write and to understand so you will have for example I take the examples for this function I want to evaluate the difference between two integers a and g uh, 10 and 20 so the maximum that uh, should be normally outputted is 20 because 20 is, is uh, greater than 10 so let's uh, try this and let's um, let's try this first example this is the basic and no uh, we don't talk about uh, templates so this is just the basic uh, code that uh, you can write and uh, this is what you use it to use for for your code so if for example i want the same logic to work for another data type for example a data so let's take an example for example that if we have if we want to make the same thing for double data type so we should write something like that we should write the same thing and uh, we should write uh, um, we should introduce uh, two uh, double uh, integers and uh, we should return the same to write the same logic if x for example is greater sorry if x is greater than y then return x uh, and y otherwise okay and uh, we should uh, uh, call it for uh, we should uh, we should make a test for uh, two uh, doubles for example we take just this is just an example but um, you can use any other data types than integers and doubles and and uh, so to prove the meaning and to prove the concept let's for example i take this uh, just an example let's for example take double k one two and double a one for example one five four so okay and we call take uh, the output uh, the result output the result in the uh, steady uh, output and um, we'll compare the result so here as you see you are implementing uh, the same thing and this is uh, a kind of uh, duplicate code that we should write every time we have the same thing we have the same code that they do the same thing and uh, this is not uh, very nice and this is not uh, very interesting as a as a good and it is not a uh, uh, it is not a best practice for coding so so as you as you can see we will write two function in this the same logic and with different data types and we'll output the result as well as we see and uh, there is a lot of code here and so it will be um, instead of having three uh, three line of code so we compile our code up we have some errors uh, yeah. okay uh, uh yeah yeah we have um, sorry we have uh, some errors just to, we are going to correct this uh, we forget about um, yeah uh, just just as uh, we mentioned here doubles uh, we are going to implement something for doubles and we will if we introduce some numbers uh, 
uh, without floating uh, floating um, floating uh, numbers we cannot see the difference now, here i want uh, really to to show you the difference between um, between data types and uh, uh, between bubbles and integers there is on, there is no uh, very huge uh, very, very huge um, difference it's just about size and memory size uh, here we if we if we, if we will try about with float so you can see the really the difference because uh, we want uh, floating numbers instead of uh, just uh, numbers so uh, well uh, I, I write the, the code uh, using uh, floats and uh, let's compile up oh, we have uh, some little some errors here okay let's correct this yeah i'm going to write the float so to make it clear i'm going to write it in two lines like that and we should compile again ah okay sorry we have to not uh, here yeah i should do a dot instead of comma okay let's now it should be compiled and we can run it to see the result um okay Oop. so as you can see we have a max 20 for the integers and the max uh, for no it's not for the wall sorry but it's for float one five it's correct as a result and uh, our code is working for uh, for our our function integer function is uh, working and uh, our float function also is working this is this is so great this is so great but but we have this problem of duplicating code as uh, if for example imagine that we have another type uh, for example a double or for example an unsigned int uh, eight uh, byte for example we should we should rewrite all this we should write another function for this and introduce again the same the, the the new data types and and so on so this is so imagine if you have a function that that uh, that implementing a very long logic a, very, a multiple line of code and uh, so it is so uh, fast the it is so um, hard hard to hard to to duplicate all these things and also it is so difficult um, difficult to do uh, the same thing uh, for multiple multi multi for each each new type we implemented imagine for example a design pattern a pattern design for example a factory design and you have one type and each time you you implement another class for example you should um, re-implement all the logic of your class code to work with the new uh, factory uh, object so this is not um, a best practice so let's now use template and we can see the difference so we can um, we can for example um, we can for example declare a template template and we introduce to generic data types as a type name and uh, we write our logic of function you can see tmx and introduce to first uh, we have two parameters where so we have to uh, x and y so we have to introduce the generate two generic types for uh, our templates and uh, uh, we implement the same logic as uh, above so uh, I let the I let the function uh, for integers so just uh, just to 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 prove for you to prove for you the, that uh, we have uh, our template is working for uh, floats and uh, it doesn't use the integer function and uh, and uh, at the end I will delete uh, both of them so and let just template so you can see that our code is uh, working for um, uh, two data types so here um, i implemented the same logic uh, as a template and i'm going to um, compile and uh, run again our code and we have to output the same logic and we output the same results so uh, our template now is working for uh, f floats uh, data type so let's also comment delete to integer function 
that works for integer and see if we can get the same result for both of them no we have just template that is uh, implemented and uh, all this we deleted all this uh, uh, for all this uh, six uh, line of code and we replace it with just uh, uh, four line of code so so we can compile again and we, sh we can output the result again and we have the same result you can see that we have the same result using template and for two uh, different data types this is the main interesting point about using template and this is how you can use it for function template function so the same logic is working for um, your classes if you have a lot if you have classes that uh, do a lot of um, at the, that uh, is doing the same logic and you want to duplicate uh, the same logic of your code using uh, different data types so just just use templates it's so it's working so very well and if you you have an occasion to use some tdl for example uh, future uh, it's the same so uh, thank you again for watching and uh, follow me for a new uh, video and if you have question, put it in the comments so I can answer it in the next video.